saying? Well, I go by Carrie, but my first name is Elrene. I'm going to discuss about my hair. My hair is, it appears to be curly, but it's curly straight. I pretty much wear any hairstyle. But uh, for the past couple, several months, my hair has been falling out. And I got to researching the medications that I was on, such as Correct CR80, uh, Presidon, I believe, um, some medicine store repeat this for arthritis. It was a mild arthritis medicine. And uh, Spironolactone. And it's one more. I just can't think of the name of it. But it was for two, three of them was for blood pressure medicine. But I have a disease that I had called cushion disease. Originally, all this was ball had fell out. The crown area all the way to the back. I had lost everything. I had wore wigs and everything. So this was in 2006 all the way up to my hair start growing back. And then all of a sudden, uh, over the years, you know, I was struggling with it to grow so long and then it'll fall back out. Well, now I'm at a stage where it's falling back out again. Excuse all the mess that I haven't organized behind me. Um, it's breaking off again. I'm going to take the camera and let you show, see the state of my hair and the condition. Um, right here in this area is where the thinning and the balling occurs. See how that is? About a month ago it was worse than that and I tried. Um, it was worse than this about a month ago. I tried maybe one day uh, that um, advertised what they're saying, they help your hair grow, baking soda. And I tried that. So I don't know if it's that or just taking its own course. I hadn't used it anymore. But I suffer from sores as well. Uh, my gray hair, my scalp texture do not allow me to allow my hair to get dirty. If not, I get knots, bumps and sometimes they're pulsy. But if you can see the thinning of my hair. Now, I used to have long, pretty hair, believe it or not. Uh, I used to have down my hair, nice, thick hair. But all my health illness is what uh, created this disaster. Uh, and so I took away the chemicals several years ago. So my hair should be growing fast. So it's everyone here grows at its own pace. But I'm willing to show or uh, go through this stage or phase to see if any of these methods work, whether it's the egg work, whether the rice work, whether it's the baking soda work, you know, whether if any of it work, because the ones that's on the videos, their hair is hell of a long. I've seen one lady, her hair was long, but it was it was thinning because of age or whatever the case may be. I'm, I'm tr not trying to be a diagnoser. But, you know, normally when you reach a certain age, they say your hair is thin. Now, in my case, thinning does not run in the family. So, I don't understand. No matter what age, my aunts, my mom, even up until her death, her hair had thickened and grew right back down her back. Uh, we stopped using chemicals because of our health. God rest her soul. So the challenge today is, is I took two eggs. I, you know, my reason I'm not gonna do oils is because I have sensitive scalp, and glycerin is one that my scalp do not like. I'm allergic to it overall. A lot of African American products I, that I have tried, I, it does not fit with my hair. So I mix. Uh, two eggs in here. I'm going to um, pl ply this on my scalp. Instead of doing all that they did, that ran wrap and all that ran ahead, I ain't got time for that. I did find a, like a tipping cap. I couldn't find my actual cap that you, bonnet that you can buy at a uh, regular beauty shop for a dollar. I couldn't find it in the house, but I know it's here somewhere. So maybe I'll use it next time. But this least I know that I can secure and I'm going to leave this 
egg over my on my head as long as I can. I know they be saying one hour, two hour. Eggs is healthy for you. People drink this, so even if I, it stays on for hours, it shouldn't kill it. And let, you know, the most it can do is the egg can cook from being from the warm. Uh, I do for tips. I do not have any perms, curls, or anything. I did not comb my hair today. I'm just relaxed. I I wasn't going out any, anywhere anyway for to you know. But what I will say is, just like you see the thinning of right around here, is baby fine thin. Excuse the gray. I don't know why I call it white hair, but I put a, a temporary color on it one day, and this is why it's looking kind of beigey like. But I had a, a different color. A dark brown to uh for temporary color for like four weeks. It didn't last but four weeks for me. But that that's here and other. That's the only type of chemicals I've had on my hair just to cover the dye. And I hadn't did any kind of dye in years. So Mr. Carey, you looking like a hot mess, so it's saying a lot for me to go on on camera a video for this and to post this. But I have, I do have another uh, video on my cushion syndrome uh, survivor on Facebook, and it talks about my hair. And then you can see how straight my hair was, and it was a decent length, but it wasn't long. And that wasn't, but this year when I had posted that video, and all my hair just gradually, once I brushed it, it just fell off. And the thing about it is. Oils are not my best friend. You know, I can't compare my hair to everybody else and what they use. And I'm not asking for your opinion. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, believe it or not. I got my license at 15, so I don't need your advice. But I do know what works for my hair. But the thing, the complication is, is health problems. When you have health problems, excuse me, a little bug in here bother me. <laughs> uh, when you have health problems, you lose a lot, you know, more than that. Excuse the background noise, because my brother's laughing at Dish Nation or something. But I'm going to take this journey um, and try to do this eggs, because they say it's proteins, which I always knew that. I don't know why I stopped.